What's up guys, scotty 2 hockey here, aka the Average Hockey Fan, and Montreal Canadiens are playing against the Buffalo Sabres tonight in a very winnable game. I said before I was going to live stream this game, I may not live stream this game, I may do the Carolina game instead, but 100% I'm doing one of these two games. I will let you guys know tonight whether or not I'm going to do this live stream before I release it, if I'm going to do live stream before I release it, I will put out a video. Uh, anyways guys, tonight Montreal's in against Buffalo, a team that I really watched a lot uh, the first 40 games, because at one point they were battling for first in the league. If I'm not mistaken, they were first in the league at one point. I thought for sure they were a team that Montreal was going to end up competing with in the playoffs or to get into the playoffs. Unfortunately for Sabres fans, Buffalo is out of it right now, and I feel this is a very winnable game for Montreal. I've watched a few Sabres games lately. They can't seem to get any speed in the neutral zone. The one good thing the Sabres have going for them is that uh, Jeff, Kinger, Jeff Skinner and Jack Eichel are still producing, and that uh, their defense is really good. Yes, it's young, but uh, Rasmus Ristolan, I believe his name is, and Rasmus Dahlin and a couple other defensemen, they just look solidly defensively. I don't know all their players' names off the top of my head, but they look very solidly defensively last time I watched them play. Their goaltending doesn't look the best by no means, and their speed is noticeable to me, that they don't look like the fast team I watched. The first 40 games of the season, they looked like a team that would get the puck, kind of like Montreal would, especially when they played Montreal, would get the puck and break out, and when they get into their zone, they pin you in your own zone, they use use their D to hold points, they get shot from the points, they get traffic in front of the net. I'm not seeing any of that from Buffalo lately, and hopefully that's the case tonight against the Montreal Canadiens. Anyways, guys, let's get into the numbers. If the Habs win this tonight and Columbus loses, that gives Montreal a three-point lead on Columbus, and if Carolina were to lose, they're tied with Carolina for the first wildcard spot, but Carolina gets the first wildcard spot. I'm not 100% sure. More regulation wins, more goals for something like that. I'm not 100% sure how that works. If somebody wants to comment and let me know. That'd be great to know. I'd love to learn something new every day. Anyways, guys, Montreal, they're fourth in the Atlantic Division. They're currently in the second wildcard spot. They're one point up on Columbus. Same amount of games played. Record 39, 28, and 7. Last five games, they're 3 2 0. They're trending in the right direction recently. Their last four their last game, they won 4 0 in a beautiful, masterful defensive game, a goaltending game, and a beautiful offensive output for the Habs. Price played well, the defense played well. The defense scored a couple times. Uh, Folan had a point, if I'm not mistaken, and Weber had a goal. Um, as for the power play, 12.2% for the power play, so it's up to 12%. They were 50% last game, 1 for 2. That's always good to see. That's positive for Montreal right there. Power play, 31st in the league. Penalty kill, 80.6%. That's good for 17th in the league. So their penalty kill is slowly but surely getting a little bit better. Uh, their goals for 219. They put up four last game. I'd love to see four every game from now on. Price, you're almost guaranteeing a win giving Price four goals at this point in the season. Goals for 219. That's good for 16th in the league. Goals against 213. That's good for 11th in the league. The carry Price, 59 games played, 31. 22-5, and five. he has a 2.50 goals against, .917 save percentage, and he now has four shutouts. As for Montreal leaders, they're the same they've been the whole year. Good to see Jonathan Drouin putting up some more points, because every single, for the last, I believe, 10 of these reviews I've done, or 10 of these previews I've done of games, uh, Jonathan Drouin has had 50 points. He's been stuck on 50 points for quite some time. His plus-minus seems to bounce. He was over, he was a plus-2 at one point, then he was a zero. Then he dropped to a minus four. Then he went back up to a minus two. Now he's at a minus three. But fortunately, he did have two points last game. And the goal he scored was a beauty goal scorer's goal. Watch my live stream from that from that period when Drew had scored that goal. I was hyped. Uh, Domi, 74 games played, 25 goals, 39 assists, 64 points, a solid plus 15, 176 shots, 14.2 shooting percentage. Great. Jonathan Drouin, 73 games played, 18 goals, 34 assists, 52 points, minus 3, 178 shots, 10.1% shooting percentage. Thomas Tatar, good for the third leading scorer, 72 games played, 22 goals, 29 assists, 51 points, he's a plus 18, 180 shots, and 12.2% shooting percentage. One thing I've noticed going through these shooting percentages and stuff, Buffalo is a team that shoots a lot. Like, their top three goal scorers, their top three point getters, all have a lot of shots. The guy who's in the third slot, I don't believe, has a ton of shots. But the other two, uh, Eichel and, um, I forget the other guy's name, Eichel and Skinner, excuse me. Eichel and Skinner have a ton of shots on goal this year, well over 200. Uh, Brendan Gallagher in Montreal has a pile of shots, too. He leads the team in Montreal significantly in shots. Uh, as for Buffalo, they're six in the Atlantic Division. Their record is 31, 33, and 9. Their last five is 1, 3, and 1. Their last game, they lost 2 to 4 to the Toronto uh, Maple Leafs. 
Their power play is 18.4%. That's good for 18th in the league. Their penalty kill, which is unfortunate for Montreal, is a very good penalty kill at 81.5%. That's good for 7th in the league. Their goals for is 202, so just above 200. So they're not a real heavy uh, scoring threat. That's good for 25th in the league. Their goals against is 237. That's good for 22nd in the league. Carter Hutton. 45 games, they're starting goalies now in your backup goalie. Carter Hutton, 45 games played, 17 wins, 21 losses, 5 overtime losses, 2.88 goals against, 0.91 save percentage, 0.91% save percentage. And uh, yeah, that's Carter Hutton. I, I didn't see how many shutouts he had, guys. Olmark, 33 games played, 14 wins, 12 losses, 4 overtime losses, 3.13 goals against, and a .906 save percentage. I can't remember if I listed prices, not, uh, numbers or not, so I'll say it again. 59 games played, 31, 22, and 5 for price, 2.50 GAA, and a .917 save percentage. I, I honestly can't remember if I listed, listed his numbers or not, guys. Um, now, as for Buffalo's scoring leaders, Jack Eichel's having himself one hell of a year. He's uh, he, he is a solid player for sure. I had an argument last year with my friend whether or not Jack Eichel is going to be a superstar. Last year, he didn't look like the type of player that was going to be a superstar to me. He looked good offensively, all right defensively, but there was just something about his game I didn't like. He kind of looked soft to me. He kind of looked like he was scared to go into problem areas. He was more of a pass-first type player. But what I've seen from Jack Eichel this year is the exact opposite. He's missed a bunch of games. He still leads the team in points. He has over 70 points. He's kind of like Max Domi in a way. It's just he's thriving in the club he's with. I don't know if he would thrive with another club like he does with Buffalo, but he certainly is thriving with Buffalo. Not not hating on Eichel or nothing like that, but it's just what I've seen from his game last year, he seemed a bit overrated to me, especially for a guy who's making like $10 million a year around about that. He just really didn't seem like the type of guy that was worth that kind of money. But this year, he is definitely proving me wrong. Uh, Jack Eichel, 68 games played, 25 goals, 48 assists, 73 points, a minus 7. This is what I was talking about with the shots. 271 shots for Eichel, 9.2% shooting percentage. So none of these top three have, have, uh, have 200. I believe the closest one is about... Domi with like 180 or something like that. Skinner, 73 games played, 37 goals, 22 assists, 59 points, minus 3, 237 shots, 15.6% shooting percentage. I got to look at that now because it's driving me crazy. Uh, the closest one is actually to Tar. He has 180 shots. So the closest one to Eichel and Skinner is Tar with 180 shots. And both Eichel and Skinner have well over 200. And Reinhardt, he actually has a surprisingly low amount of shots. Uh, Reinhardt, 73 games played, 18 goals, 41 assists, 59 points, a minus 7, and surprisingly only 155 shots, but 11.6 shooting percentage. So what I'm seeing from these numbers is don't let Jeff Skinner shoot. He scores on 15, almost 16% if you round it up, 16% of his shots he scores on. So don't let Jeff Skinner shoot. You give him any more than six shots, the odds, the numbers say he's scoring. As for tonight's game, I really do feel the Habs win. Yes, I've been picking a lot of Montreal, a lot of games for Montreal to win. It's not because I'm being a biased Habs fan. It's because I truly believe they're going to win these games. When they played against the Islanders a couple of games ago, I said I wasn't sure if they were going to win. I didn't think they were going to win 100%. But this game, I really feel they're the better team. They're the superior team. They're playing for something. Buffalo is playing for nothing. They're playing spoiler. And I don't even think Buffalo wants to play spoiler. They might not even put all their best players out there. Who knows? This is a team that probably wants to do what they did last year. They don't want to tank, but they want to get just enough points so they got a good enough position in the lottery that they could end up with the first overall pick. They got the first overall pick last year, and they could very easily end up with the first overall pick this year. I believe they did finish dead last in the league last year. It was either them or Arizona. Uh, but yeah, Buffalo's probably hoping to get definitely a top three, top five pick. They know they're out of the playoffs. They know they're playing for nothing, unless you want to say playing for pride or to get their players points. Uh, but I guarantee you their management does not want them to win. Their management definitely wants to get a top five pick. They're realistically on the playoffs, they have no chance whatsoever. Uh, as for tonight's game, my prediction, 6-1 to one for Montreal. Big, big output for Montreal. I got a feeling they're going to score a lot tonight. They're going to explode on Buffalo's weak, well, recently weak goaltending. Carter Hutton plays... He's 50-50 against the Habs. Sometimes he shows up, sometimes he don't, and I have a feeling tonight he's not going to show up. I have a feeling after last game, with all the players that got points like they did, with Armia getting a goal, with Weber getting a goal, with Drewan getting back on the board, Kakanyemi getting some confidence with points, Tatar playing like he did, Jordan Wheel with the goal and assist, all these players coming in this game with confidence, knowing if they get this win tonight and Columbus loses, they could get a bit of separation and get a bit of comfortability. Maybe by the time they go into the Columbus game, it won't be as crucial as what we thought it would. Who knows? 
But uh, that's my prediction for tonight's game. 6-1 to one for the Montreal Canadiens. I'm really looking forward to the game. Keep an eye out for my live stream. If I do do a live stream, probably about 20 minutes before the game, a half hour before the game, I will let you guys know. The only reason why I wouldn't do a live stream on tonight's game, it's a uh, UFC fight night tonight. Till versus Thompson. And I know there's good prelim fights tonight, and there's also good fight night fights. I would be watching the game, but no means am I missing the Montreal Canadian game. But I can't really do a live stream when I'm flicking back and forth between Montreal and UFC. I'm a hardcore UFC fan too, guys, and I really, really like Anthony Pettis. I would love to see him start Stephen Thompson tonight. I don't think he's going to, but anyways, I know, I know most of you guys are saying who these guys he's talking about. Anyways, guys, my prediction for tonight, 6-1 to one for Montreal. They're going to be all over the Habs. My MVP for tonight's game is going to be Max Domi. He always plays good against Buffalo and Detroit, and I got a feeling the Habs are going to come out and absolutely dominate. I'm looking for a 4 to nothing lead going into the third period again. Add two more. Give Buffalo a mercy goal. Who even knows? I wouldn't even want to see him give a mercy goal. Win 6 to nothing if you can, but I have a feeling they're going to win 6 to 1. That's just the average hockey fan's prediction. I'm no expert, but Scotty2Hockey says 6 to 1. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. Stay tuned for my recap after the game, and if I do a live stream, stay tuned for my live stream. I would love to see you guys tune in and comment and like my live stream. Anyways, guys, like, subscribe, comment. Have a great day. Enjoy the game. This is Scotty2Hockey over and out.